What's poppin' players? I'm here today to spread awareness of some bullshit. You feel me? So today we are here with the bullshit so we can expose it. Detroit Urban Survival Training. This man right here, this light-skinned gentleman right here, is teaching you tips and tricks on how to die in Detroit. All right, now, the reason I say that is because he's trying to do good things in t telling you how to stay alive, but he's doing a terrible job at it. He's really telling you how to get shot, how to get beat up, how not to do any of the things that he wants you to do. And as an example, I've brought along some videos. So, let's get into it. This is what happens when someone wants to do some incredible harm to you. They want to take you somewhere, take you hostage. They want to want harm you, want to you. So get you up out of here. Yourself in, and instead of allowing them to do that to you, mm -hmm. or just allowing them to kill you, here's some options that may increase your survival. Good. Let's, let's hear them out. You do, number one is you have to move your head offline from mm -hmm. the uh, line of the trajectory of the bullet. Right. Hung, 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 hung. It was already supposed to happen. Right. At the same time that you pull the wrist in. So step one, head goes back as hand is pinned in. This does not take strength because you're just pulling your hand in, which causes a lock on the wrist, which also articulates the barrel away from you. Let's just hear him out real quick. Your fingers go here, thrusting into the eyes, and you're thrusting forward. You're okay, bullshit. Look, why exactly wouldn't he just shoot the gun as soon as you moved your head? Why, why exactly is he not trying to shoot you? Also, you trying to poke his eye why also wouldn't he just use his other hand like first of all what if he he from detroit what if what if you try to grab his face he weed you know what i'm saying like what if what if that happens then what now your ass out and probably did with your ass out it's this tough situation because you didn't got robbed and you didn't have to die but you was listening to this man and now you did it's tough why would you do that to yourself in this certain urban situation why would you even outside with no protection this was your protect. You brought him? No. Terrible. What's wrong with you? Here's another tip and or trick that you might be able to use. Is pinning against your chest, against the wall, and a criminal is holding you at bay. Right. The reason why they're doing this is because this is how they search you for weapons, how they're going to take things from you, also how they're going to harm you uh, physically, keep you from running. We know. Get to the tip. By getting close and pinning you to a wall, to a car. Come on, bro. Strike your fire so there's no hammer in the back. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we're gonna do is we can't move out of the way, we can't move offline. And if I were to try to move this, right? As as he saw my hand move, he's gonna fire. You're right, you'd so be dead right there, weapon, right there. Fire. And mm -hmm. give an example the human reaction time when he sees me move, he's gonna fire. Right. So the reason why it didn't move, the slide didn't slide, is because I so push it to the rear. From that, from there, what we do is push the barrel. <laughs> I know this thing ain't tell you just catch the gun, dog. This thing ain't just Hey bro <laughs> I know that this man did not just tell you to catch the gun before it shoot. First of all, you'd be dead already because any any twitch emotion, you know what I'm saying? Cause first of all any good robber is gonna make sure you know not to move before you even you know, before you even think about trying this. Secondly, as soon as you move, they shoot. So it's tough. Thirdly, you using your hand to take his gun. First of all, if you in an urban situation, he wouldn't be holding you hostage with two hands on a pistol. He'd be using one and probably slapping you up with the other one. So therefore, you wouldn't even get the chance to even do this. Like, what, what was... Are you from Detroit, sir? I don't think you are. You might be from Alaska. They friendly over there. I don't know what's going on with this, but none of it's, none of it's making sense. Here's another feeble attempt at a try. You. 
there's a shot. From here, what you would do is you would peel their eyes back. Okay, okay, look. First of all, first of all, you're already dead. Like, what are you, what are you talking about? Like, grab his face, grab the... What are you, you're already dead. What are you talking about? You just... you. He literally just shot you twice. What? What? I just... Huh? Again, I don't know who's out here robbing people with shotguns in Detroit. That's some real savagery right there. Terrible decision, though. Not really a good gun to be robbing niggas with. That's just not a good option. Why would you? I mean, I guess, but no, at the same time. Why would you do that? Any gun you got to hold with two hands is not a good option for robbing niggas. So, first of all, let's just throw that idea out the window. And let's just say he put the gun to your chest, right? Therefore, he'd be able to block your hand from even trying to get to the gun after he shot you. Because by the time you moved your hand, he would have shot you already. All your loved ones would have been at your funeral like, I really miss my nigga. Ah, this breakdown. Really miss my nigga. White people, white people. I really miss my wigger. This song is about equality. I really miss my nigga. Let's sing it together. They would have been sad. They would have been crying. They would have been devastated because your ass decided to listen to this man, this light skinned individual in Detroit. What is really going on in Detroit? What's going, like, what's, I just don't get it. If you're going to teach tips and tricks on how to be safe, can we make sure they work, please? What, what can we see this in actual combat? I want to actually see somebody have the wherewithal and speed to grab a gun before it shoots. I just want to see if that actually is a thing before we just start spreading this because this 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 is, is not okay this needs to stop now this is cancer this this is so much cancer that i can feel the tumors growing on my back and it's way down heavy on me and it's not okay can you help a nigga out and just stop this, please? No, this is just not good. This is not okay. This has never been okay. It probably won't ever be okay. Why are you spreading such nonsense, good sir? What is the point? What was your agenda? Where is your antennas right now? Not on the prize, not on the right thing, because this, sir, is some bullshit. And today's video is brought to you by somebody that's alive, because I didn't listen to this nigga. All right, deuces, I'm out of here.